What's up guys? Welcome to GoGo -Go Motoring YouTube channel. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna sort of provide you with um, an update on my ownership experience with uh, the three-stage intake manifold and the AA header mod um, that I did uh, on my on the N52 engine in my 2007 BMW 328 i Coupe. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I ended up um, doing that mod um, about six months ago at this point. Um, ended up uh, installing the three-stage intake manifold, uh, the AA headers, and obviously getting the tune for that. And that resulted in a significant horsepower gain um, to the car, conservatively, uh, a horsepower gain of 30 wheel horsepower, which you know conservatively would translate to about 45 horsepower to the stock. Uh, horsepower numbers, which would result in the car producing more horsepower than the stock uh, two, uh, 2006 BMW 330i. So I've done a, a, several different videos on that. All in all, I've been super pleased with um, this mod. Um, you know, obviously, it's, it's made the car faster, noticeably faster, um, and um, it's kind of given, even made the car a little bit edgier. You know, um, just it being a little bit quicker. Um, just kind of makes the car more interesting. Um, so I've, all in all, I've been, a, I've, I've very much enjoyed uh, this mod. And really the only um, kind of issue that I've had with the mod, and which is what I'm gonna talk about in today's video, is what the car does when I'm, um, you know, at idle, right? So like if I come up to a traffic light, if I come up to a stop sign and, you know, kind of stop the car um, and have the engine running, um, what I have noticed is that, um, the uh, the engine RPM counter, you know, has a tendency from time to time to go up and down, right? It's almost like it's sort of hunting for, you know, the ideal RPM at idle at idle range. And even if At idle range, and even if it's not doing that, like even if the if the needle on the rev counter is staying still, you can kind of hear the engine sort of almost kind of circulating, like something is going on in the engine where the car's trying to really figure out um, kind of what the issue is, um, and, and 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 trying to get the engine to sort of purr like it normally would at idle, like the way the car did in stock form. Um, so I reached. Um, so I reached out to my mechanic um, who did this uh, mod and he in turn reached out to Active Auto Works and it turns out that this actually is a common problem uh, if you're installing the AA headers along with the three-stage intake manifold to the N52 or the N51 engine. Um, and apparently what happens is the O2 sensors and um, kind of get, uh, the, the, the car computer gets confused. Um, that, as it, you know, as it relates to the O2 sensors, it's sort of getting regulating all that because the catalytic converter has been replaced by the AA headers. So the car computer is like really trying to figure out like the right mix um, of, of everything within the engine to, to kind of make it purr like it normally would um, at idle. And that results in the car making a little bit of a sound, kind of like a repetitive sound, like the, the engine's not 100% sure of what it's, you know, you know, where it wants to be in terms of the, uh, the the engine rotations, and sometimes that gets reflected in the actual rev counter, and you'll sort of see the needle jump up and down. After this, I'll show you a video that I recorded, um, you know, showing you, uh, you know, some of those kind of things that happen uh, when when you're at idle. Um, and you know, 
obviously I'm gonna, you know, I need to get together with my mechanic. We need to figure out a way to, you know, kind of resolve this issue. I think there are, there, there are different ways to try to fix the issue. The first one being just sort of resetting the engine adaptions. Um, you know, so what, what has happened since um, I did the mod is the temperatures changed. So obviously I you know, did the mod back in April, we're in December now. It's getting colder um, and you know we, we you know, there's a possibility that the reason we're kind of noticing these rotations in the engine and uh, you know the rpms etc is because you know the, the it's colder um, the, the temperature is colder and that's sort of confusing the car computer even more that's one issue the second thing we're going to look at is determine whether the o2 sensors have been replaced at all uh, have, have been taken out uh, my mechanic seems to think that they have been we need to get that double checked so um that could so that can sometimes be a potential solution to the problem is you know just get rid of the o2 sensors and it's going to you know stop the engine from um kind of hunting for those rpms uh when you when, when you're at idle um and there may be a couple other uh, ways to try to fix the issue obviously we're going to try to figure those out and work through that and of course i'm going to keep you guys posted uh on, on what we ultimately decide to do but um anyway just wanted to kind of share that with you all um and you know kind of in the interest of providing you sort of full feedback on what it's like to live with this mod now that i've lived with it um oh no i'm still happy with the mod um especially obviously the car's faster and that's always fun to have that extra power on tap um it also sounds great with the aa headers um but you know i, I will say that when i'm at idle like it can get just just the sound that the engine is making regardless of whether the rpm needle is moving or not um can get kind of annoying um you know day to day so it's certainly something that i want to try to fix um and i'll obviously uh keep you posted on on, on my progress so like i said um i'm gonna leave conclude this video by leaving you with a video showing you um you know kind of what the issue is hopefully you'll be able to pick up on the sounds that are being made um you know but if not i can just tell you from you know the driver's seat you can definitely kind of hear something going on at the uh, in, the, uh, in the engine bay in the front, you know, where the, where the car computer and the engine are sort of trying to figure things out. Uh, if you guys have done this mod and um, have had similar issues, uh, please leave the com please leave your comment below. Share your experience. Let me know uh, if any you know if you came up with any sort of a resolution to the issue, and uh, I'll do the same. And uh, that's that. Appreciate your guys watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, share the video, um, and stay tuned for more videos. And uh, of course, be sure to subscribe. And uh, you know, I'll keep you guys posted uh, after I've had a chance to meet with my mechanic and sort of try to figure out how to resolve this uh, potential issues. Issue. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.